Hello, my name's Sean Thompson. I'm part of the technical services team that works for Crown Paints, and I specialise on the saddle and wood care range. In this video, we're going to give you some key factors to take into account when providing long-term wood care protection. Well, we now go over some basic tips for protecting your wood care for the long term. First thing we're going to show you is making sure that you get enough product on. Basically, what we need to make sure is that systems are put on in full. So if it's a base coat and top coats, that's what we do. Or if it's just a two coat system, we do actually put on two coats of that system. Ultimately, we're trying to get a dry film build that's of a certain thickness in line with our technical data sheets because we know that will make sure that it will provide the durability and weather protection that you need. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to put on a coat of Ultra and I'll show you how easy it is to use a wet film build gauge just to check that we're making sure that enough product has been applied to the surface. We've stirred the product obviously, we've got our board ready, that's all ready to clean so we're just doing say our final coat here. So what we would do is apply the coat I'll just do one small length here. And then we'll lay that off. Now, a wet film build gauge is basically graded with microns. Technical data sheets will all state what the wet film build application rate needs to be. So in this particular case, Saddling Ultra needs to be specifically 66. 65 is near enough for the purpose of today. So there is a grading on there for 65 microns. So all I do is I use the wet film build gauge, I apply it in the direction of the grain, not across it. I take that off, and then all I'm trying to see is whether or not the coating has actually touched the end of the tooth, which it has, and if we put it onto a piece of paper, I can see there that I've actually managed to get that to touch every tooth on that. So in effect, I've actually put on more than is required. Now obviously for the trade, that will give you a good gauge as to whether or not you're putting on too much product, so you can change your technique and maybe just save yourself a bit of money, or if you're not putting on enough, then obviously you need to change your technique and make sure that you put more on. Once you've done that a couple of times, that can simply go in your back pocket, no need to use it anymore. Right, so once we've applied our wet film build and measured that, that will ultimately dry to the recommended dry film build. So therefore, we know that as long as we put enough coats on as recommended, it's then going to perform and give us the durability that we would expect out of the systems. So for example, if we were to put on classic and two coats of extra, we would expect four to five years before a maintenance coat is required. If we're gonna use something like Superdeck, then potentially we're talking up to eight years. If we're talking Ultra, then obviously we're talking up to seven years on that. As long as sufficient product has been put on and that's been put onto the recommended wet film thicknesses that's ultimately go to the recommended dry film thickness. All that information is on a technical data sheet that is there to support and give you the information that you need to make sure that the products are being applied as per recommended by us, the manufacturers. There's a couple of other things that we can pass on to you as top tips, especially on the, the design side. If we're looking at, say, a window ledge, we're obviously trying to encourage water to actually run off a surface. Things like flats on window sills, not a good idea because we don't want water sitting on there. The other thing is, is that we want to try and remove arras or sharp edges. In this particular case, you can see that we've got the surface runoff there at an appropriate angle, but the edge of this particular window sill is what we would consider too sharp. And it should be three millimetre round or pencil round as the case may be. What you will find in a lot of cases with all coatings is that if you've got a sharp edge, no matter how hard you try to apply the coating, you will never get the same level of thickness on that edge. So it's not surprising that failure starts at that particular point there. The basic rule is, is that if you apply enough products and we have two full coats of system as a top coat, that will last five times longer than one single coat. So you can understand that quite quickly, sharp edges are not going to help matters. So if we've got a situation like we have here on this particular piece of timber, whereby we've got a sharp edge, if this was representative of a windowsill, what we can do is very simply make sure that the corner is rubbed down Take off that edge, make sure that's dusted off, 
The roundness of that edge will then give the coating the opportunity to make sure that if you apply the coatings, it will be applied evenly. It will last longer than the sharp edge. Another problem that can be easily avoided is protecting against water traps. So basically, if you've got a window pane and the water is hitting that and it's running down and it's going behind beading, or there might be open cracks that haven't had a suitable seal put in there to bridge the gap, that's something that can be avoided. Obviously, there are areas whereby water will ingress into the timber, no doubt into a part that hasn't actually got any coating and will cause all sorts of problems with the wood expanding, contracting, splitting, pulling away, and the issues that can come with regards to that. Those are very simple things on the design side and some small reparatory work that can be done in order to make sure that the coatings last significantly longer than maybe what they have done in the past if there's been issues of people having to recoat stuff more often than maybe what they want to do. Simple things like taking the edges off or making sure that the appropriate seal is made where some beading has been causing the problem. By doing that, you can no doubt extend the maintenance cycle by a significant couple of years, say. If you put the full system on, we're going to be getting the actual durability times out of these systems. So therefore, maintenance is just simply going to be a nice, clean wash down, let it dry and apply another coat nice and easy. In this video, we've provided you with some very basic steps that you can follow regarding design, application and preparation that will ultimately lead towards a long term wood care protection. Thank you.